Today, we're talking about motivation. My motivation has been lacking in 2021. Do you know who always seemed motivated? Mickey Mouse. He seemed to just always be ready to do stuff. He looks like the kind of guy that's kind of got his shit together. And I admire him for that. I had just come out of isolation on the 1st of January. I'm truthfully still not feeling amazing or still not feeling 100% yet. So I'm still not quite where I should be. Damn you, Corona. And truthfully, I'm kind of afraid that this year will be a whole lot like last year where we spend most of this year in our houses, not really doing much. And that made me kind of sad. So. I'm turning it around and I figured if there's anyone else who started the year feeling the same way, then this video might help you. The first thing you can do to motivate yourself is give yourself something to look forward to. This might be a little bit more difficult because of Corona at the moment, but there is always something that you could look forward to. So for example, you might be excited to have a Zoom call with all of your friends or make a really nice dinner, even go on a holiday that is far away from all people. I'm going on holiday, a very social distanced holiday in about a week's time. And I'm really excited about it. Just as long as you've got something to look forward to in the future. Tip number two is to think of three things that you're grateful for. This really helps when you're in a negative headspace or when you're feeling like nothing is really going your way. It's really easy to think of three things every single day. Even if you just wake up one day and you're like, I'm grateful for the sky, the grass and the flowers. You're done. I mean, those are three pretty great things to be grateful for. Or you can get a little bit deeper and, you know, be grateful for like people and food and you know, whatever you want to be grateful for, you can be grateful and it's free. So that's, that's great and pretty helpful. Okay. The third tip is to write down some goals. I'll admit it is the 21st of January and I only wrote down my goals this morning. <gasps> so we're doing well. I like to have goals in a number of different areas. I like to have career goals. I like to have financial goals. I like to have my goals for my physical health. I like to have goals for my mental health. I like to have fun goals. I like to have relationship goals. It's important to have a number of goals in all of those areas. For example, I thought I'd tell you some of my goals for 2021. One of my major goals is to make a million rand by the end of December, to run a marathon in a week's time, to only eat lettuce, cucumber and carrots on Tuesdays for the rest of the year. I'm totally kidding. Those are not my goals. Those are, those are really not my goals. But you get the gist. I also really like to visualize myself achieving those goals because it makes the possibility of achieving them seem more real and it really helps me get into the right mindset and gets me more excited to go out and achieve those goals. I can make a whole different video on visualizing, but I'll save that for another day. I also suggest putting your goals somewhere where you can see them. I'm not the best at this, but I think this year I'm going to really try and put my goals on my fridge so I can see them every time I get food, which will be very often. Or maybe I'll stick my goals on the granola jar because then I will definitely see them all the time. So my granola jar is currently empty, which is a travesty in and of itself, but I've stuck some of my goals on my fridge for now. I'm not completely done, but this is my fridge. It's very full because I get a lot of magnets. These are just some of my goals for the year and for the future. For example, one of my goals is to make a new recipe every week for the rest of the year. I also want to run 10 kilometers in less than 52 minutes by the middle of the year. And then I also like to stick pictures of 
what I want to do. So this one's all about traveling and I stick words about where I want to go and stuff like that. Got a little boat there. I want to have a blue kitchen one day. So I've got a picture of a blue kitchen there. Keegan also read a book that suggested that you should write the price tags for all of your goals, which I still have to do, but I'm probably going to do that soon. And yeah, I think it's really helpful to just have your goals all around the house because it's a constant reminder about what you're working towards. So if you have a fridge, then I recommend sticking your goals on your fridge. This is my first time doing it, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I'm excited about it. I'm excited to see my goals every time I open the fridge. The next tip is to wake up a little earlier. So now that I've been on holiday for a while, it's really easy for me to start waking up later and later. I've noticed I've been waking up at eight o'clock, then my day is just late, and then I just feel lazy for the rest of the day. So it's really good to try and wake up just a little bit earlier so that you get yourself in the routine and you wake up feeling a little bit more refreshed and alive and awake. Good morning. It's like 6.30 and um, I'm up, I've woken up early, because I figured it's a good idea to help me get into a good routine. I got nowhere to go, I got nowhere to be, I got nothing to do, but I'm up and I'm excited about it. It's a really nice day, so maybe I'll go for a morning swim, who knows. The moral of the story, people, is that it's good to wake up early, let's do stuff. Next, you can write down something that you're planning on achieving this year. This can be extremely helpful and it can help to get you excited and motivated. So for example, you might be finishing your degree this year, you might be getting a new car, you might be getting a new job, you might be getting a promotion, or it could be something super simple like turning 22. I have a number of things that I will be achieving this year. Hopefully I'll be getting my honors for my degree. I will be turning 22. I will maybe be getting a job at the end of the year. Very exciting. All good things, all good things that I'm excited for. And then there's probably my biggest tip, which is to fake it till you make it. Sometimes you have to pretend to be motivated to get motivated. You just gotta sit down and you gotta be like, yes, I'm excited, I'm ready, I'm motivated, I can do this. Even though inside you might be feeling differently. But I promise you, if you keep faking it, you'll eventually feel motivated and you'll get going. That's my video. I know it's short and sweet. I hope it helped in some way or made you feel a little bit more excited for 2021. Let me know what else you want to see and let me know if you enjoyed these kinds of videos. Now that you've finished watching this, you can go and write down some goals and stick it on your fridge or your granola jar. And I'll see you next time. Bye.